Hi and welcome back to Scotty's Tech.info. I'm Scotty with my co-host Cletus. Today I want to talk about a little tool I made which I'm calling the Material Design Icon Font Viewer. So first I'm going to give you a little quick recap of what these Material Design Icons, the Icon Font, what it is, how you use it, and then I'm going to show you the little tool I made uh, which hopefully will make it easier for you to use these different icon sets uh, should you use the icon font in various web pages and such. So let's take a look at the material design icon font. Okay, so here we are at fonts.google.com. Uh, we can search material icons, and if you scroll down, you see all these different material icons. Uh, exactly what are these things and how do we use them? Well, essentially what these are is a font of icons. So normally a font will just give you like a stylized letter A or number two or punctuation characters or whatever. An icon font is essentially uh, a font of uh, sort of icons or glyphs or whatever where each one sort of more or less acts as like a, an individual character in the font. And the beauty of this is that you can do this in your CSS, you define a font face, you say material icons, and you give it the URL to a .wav2 file, web open font format, and this font file is uh, typically anywhere between 30 and 100 kilobytes, and it contains all the icons uh, in one font file. Then what you do is, also in your CSS, you define a class, in this case uh, material icons, uh, you're referring to the the font that you just loaded, material icons, you can customize all this, blah, blah, blah. Uh, essentially, you're saying, give me a 24 pixel sized icon. And then we use a little trick here, uh, dot material icons before content attribute data icon. What the heck is that for? Well, in your HTML, what you're going to do is you're going to include uh, an I tag or, or a span or whatever else you'd like. I usually use I tags. I class material icons. And then when you include the data icon equals account box, uh, attribute, what that's going to do is this previous little bit before here is going to take that whatever text is in that data icon attribute and it's going to put it inside the i tags right here. And when you do that, when you view your web page, what you get is an actual icon named account box. So if we go back to the Google Fonts page, we can type uh, account. And there you go, there's the account box icon. Now, this is version 4.0.0 of Google's material design icon font. And of course, it's super handy, right? I mean, here's a little, this is on their website and you just search for what you want and, and you're done. Well, kind of. So what if I want to search for login and logout icons and, oh look, there's logout and there's login. So I have uh, an older uh, icon font, material design icon font on my website, one of the sites that I make, and I tried to use this login and logout and it's not there. So when I come here and search for it, there they are, but of course I'm using an older font. It's at that point you realize that this page is only for the most recent version of the material design icons. So we can go to their GitHub page and you can see that's 400. Here we have material icons 302, 301. So let's say I'm using 302. I can actually download the, the actual source code, which includes SVGs and PNGs and all kinds of uh, graphical representations of these icons, as well as the, uh, the open font format file that I include in my CSS. But I don't have any kind of reference anymore because this website is only for the latest version of the icon font. So, well, what the heck do we do? That is where the material design icon viewer that I created comes in. Uh, I created this for myself just because I needed it, and then I decided, well, I'll just put it up at scottystech.info slash material underscore icons for everyone to use. And as you can see, by default here, it defaults to version 4. Uh, you can go all the way back to version 2.0.0. Before that, uh, they did not include the, the WAF or WAF2 uh, icon font files. So here you go. We've got version 4, and if I search for login logout, there you go. I've got login logout. But if I change it to version 302, which is the one I was using, uh, oops, nope, there's no login or logout. If I change back to version 4, there they are. So uh, essentially what happens is every new version that comes out, they add more and more icons. Uh, as you can see here, version 4 has 1,866 icons, and the, uh, the WAF2 file is 102 kilobytes. The previous version, 302, 
is only 933 icons at 44 kilobytes. And if we go all the way back to version 200, we have only 796 icons at 37 kilobytes. Uh, so basically, this is just a way to switch between different versions. Uh, what about like a count or something? There you go. That's version 3. That's version 4. So there are, there are more of them in version 2. Well, you know, there you go. So it kind of gives you a way to see the, the different icons. Uh, for example, this Manage Accounts icon, this only exists in version 400. Uh, it does not exist in 302. So, oops, I can't use that one. So it's just a handy little tool uh, as time goes on and newer versions of the Material Design icon fonts are released. I will add them to this tool. Uh, it's linked to from the homepage of my site under Stuff. And uh, I don't know, hopefully you will find it as useful as I do. Um, you don't always need to use the latest and greatest one. Uh, the idea here is that, well, you just go to, you know, fonts.google.com, you would include that, that actual icon font directly from Google servers because it's so much better. I don't do that because I have had uh, actually rather vast experience with uh, services like Google saying, don't worry, we'll keep old versions there forever, and then one day poof, they just remove it and they don't tell you and suddenly somebody writes to you and says, you know, all the icons on your site are broken or whatever it is. And you're going, oh Jesus, I need this like I need a hole in the head. And so you have all this extra work to do. So I always host everything myself. Uh, font files, you know, JavaScript libraries. I never use a CDN for it. I would use my own CDN, but I will never use, you know, Google or Facebook servers or whatever to serve all this stuff because eventually it's going to disappear and cause a problem. So, uh, if you are using one of the older Material Design icon fonts, uh, or even the newest one, uh, you can use the URL scottystech.info slash material underscore icons. And as I say, I'll keep, to, keep it up to date. And they're not going anywhere. They won't disappear. And there you go. Hope you found it useful. For more techie tips, see scottystech.info. Thanks for watching. See you next time.